Raketerna är i stort sett färdiga. Det som behöver torka här nu är gipset som vi har fyllt igen här på mitten på raketen. Och de här hålen som finns där är från det militära systemet, för det här är en militär raket ursprungligen. Det är vad vi kallar för Improved Orion, eller Robot 77. Det används i det militära utförandet för att skjuta ner flygplan. Och vi använder dem för att skicka upp, i det här fallet, studentexperiment. SRAS-personalen samlas upp i operation. Vi we'll continue the preparation for Rexus 5 today. Hopefully start with the individual test on, on the Rexus 5. We are really a little late. We should start uh, working on the Rexus uh, 5 experiments on the system level test for the Rexus 5. This should start this afternoon. Okay. And uh, after 26 seconds we have uh, the burnout of the improved Orion. This is maybe also important. Uh, Marcus will switch off the experiments after 600 seconds. So they, they run until the battery is empty. Uh, Our experiment consists in applying vibrations to this test cell with four, four holes with different liquids. And in microgravity it is supposed to create a big bubble and then with the vibrations break this big bubble and turn it into little bubbles. And we want to, st we want to study the behavior of these bubbles in microgravity. We ska åka bort till servicemodulen och kolla interfacen mellan recovery packen och servicemodulen. Det här är ett gammalt system som vi har använt många år här. Det är relär och kontaktdom. Gammal elektromekanik snarare än elektronik. Det är ett rätt så primitivt system men det fyller sin funktion och är väldigt störningsdåligt så att det är många fördelar med det. I, i det här systemet består det av tidor, mekaniska timrar och barroswitchar som eh, dels skyddar mot för tidig utlösning på vägen upp, alltså markskydd och eh, sen aktiverar fallskärmen på vägen ner. Fallskärmen i sig ligger i det utrymmet och en sån här markkontrollutrustning den skulle väl bara vara en liten fjärrkontroll om det vore tillverkat idag men den fyller sin funktion. Vi har ett, ett experiment eh, tillsammans med en, en, en tysk grupp. Det är deras experiment när jag med och hjälper till med simuleringar av partikelflödet runt i tektorn. Vi kommer lägga på en, en spänning på det yttre nätet och på den inre nätet så blir det som ett elektronfält, eller elektriskt fält mellan. Eller det är millivåren. Det är elektroden som, som mäter partiklarna. Då har vi delat upp i fyra delar med olika material. Här är guld, eh, nickel och så koppar. Den kommer att sitta längst fram på raketen eh, under noskonen. När noskonen öppnas eh, så kommer den här att vara längst fram. attitude determination of small satellites. That was uh, the point where we started. If you're measuring an attitude of an object, attitude in space, not exactly the position, but the attitude, you interest, uh, are interested in a reference to orient your object, to find the orientation. In small satellites, uh, the point is you have to use very small sensors. There are a couple of them. For example, this one here, this big one here, or the smaller ones here, white ones. These are all sensors measuring magnetic fields. To compare the small sensors data with, uh, we have a reference. It's a big professional device, also measuring magnetic fields. So uh, SD cards, it's the same, same type of SD card used in uh, most cameras. A standard USB device in this case here. 
Just plug it in. Well, I soldered those two wires on there compared to the soldering iron. So it's like soldering with a broom. This is the mechanical timer which indicates the whole event of pyrotechnics during flight in the rocket system. People who are in the rocket business, they know this mechanical timers because now we are changing to electronic systems and many old guys are familiar with that system and they are happy about that. So what you see here is the rocket's nose tip. We have two different types. One is ejectable and one is fixed. This is the fixed one and this is an ejectable one. You can push away the forward tip. It's pushing against the cylindrical part of the payload and then the nose tip will move away. As this is a quite nice and expensive part, we would like to recover it. And this is why we have a small parachute recovery system inside this nose tip. The payload separation system here works quite similar to the nose tip separation. It's also a pneumatical system, driving plungers, pushing away the payload from the bond of motor. The second system integrated here is the so-called yo-yo despin system. When we cut the wire, the spinning rocket will cause the masses to unwind. The re released masses cause the, the vehicle spin to reduce. We are the uh, Ithika team from Finland. Our hometown is Tampere. We are from the Tampere University of Technology. We are having a, an experiment which is about uh, flight probing of our inertial measurement system which is going to be tracking the flight of our rocket as it leaves the launch pad and it will, it will be used for making sure the rocket is leaving off into the right direction and potentially for controlling its flight to keep it within the uh, airspace we have been given. In here we have our uh, flight computer. We have our onboard camera in here. The camera is angled so it points downward. Cylinder box. We have our inertial measurement sensors. Yeah. We are downloading the data now with standard FTP program. This is Finnish, so you can't understand it. Uh, I guess I'm just uh, kind of anxious. My work is closed in an in a, in a airtight aluminium box, uh, but these uh, software people are still busy at work. So and, and, uh, and when it's when it's something like a software program, it, it, it doesn't get sealed up in an aluminium box when it's done. Yeah, it works. Great. The next experiment is about uh, releasing about 11 liters of water. It's basically constructed uh, with a tank. You have a valve here that is um, triggered electronically and it will release the water into all this pipe systems are into hair, the divider, and radially outwards through the skin. Hey, I want to have the same potential as all the things you work with. I want the things that you do. I want you to work with your own. And I want you to work with your own. Before you have started an electric, you can have radio silence. There's nothing that blows up, nothing that blows up. Here is the squibs then, that we have. The pyrotechnics. It's uh, called a bellow actuator. When a current flows through the wires, uh, the pyrotechnics will explode and expand to about twice or triple the size. Come, here, try, try, I explode. Time, time, and I'm okay.